We have inch and five eighths drywall fasteners. We're gonna drive them down into these two by fours. We're on top speed. Top speed. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. That's definitely way too close. I think we better run it again. Do it again. Three, two, one, go. That was on. I, I think it's pretty much that even. I think we're gonna have to do something a little bit bigger. All right. So one of the highest torque fasteners you can drive with an impact driver, as crazy as this may sound, three inch drywall screws mm -hmm. into three inches of wood. We're still on top speed. Let's see how they do. Three, two, one, go. Whoa. You're on top speed? Top speed. You even had the deeperness, I think. I did. I'm running Makita's. This is their XGT 40 volt, top of the line impact driver. Tons of power, tons of features, tons of functions. What do you have? I got the brand new DeWalt using the Power Stack. This is the brand new battery from DeWalt, and this is the 850 Atomic right here, just released. You're talking about a 40 volt battery compared to a 20 volt battery, much smaller in size. Much smaller. Shouldn't, shouldn't be able to compete. That's a 1.7. It's 1.7 amp hours compared to 2.5, amp hours at 40 volts. Here's the thing though, because it's a higher voltage, it would be if we were gonna compare apples to apples, if this was a 20 volt battery, it would be a five amp hour battery. So this is delivering 90 watt hours, where DeWalt's five amp hour battery delivers 100 watt hours. Comparably, this power stack battery delivers 30.6 watt hours. But because of the technology inside this battery, stacked lithium polymer cells, or maybe they're not polymer, I can't, I'm, I'm so excited, I can't remember. If you wanna find out more about that battery, you can go over to this video over here, go check that out. We're gonna keep going with the testing Let's though. do it, man, let's do it. Let's go with um, some wood fasteners. All right. So we have three inch wood fasteners or wood screws. We'll start with one on top speed. We'll see who gets the chore done quicker. Three, two, one, go. Very close. <laughs> Very close. <laughs> That's crazy. And it, it, you showed them the size difference, right? It's, it's crazy. I mean, look, oh, at, look it. at it. I mean, if you see it right here, like I don't know how you could tell. Yeah. But man, it is. It is crazy. I think. I think the other thing is let's. <laughs> That's good stuff. Yeah, it's great. We're doing durability test next. <laughs> we'll see which one. We'll see which one. <laughs> Yo, it still works. Yeah, it, still, it never, it never, like it does never matters how well a, a, a tool <laughs> performs. It's like, it don't matter what brand it is and all. The competitor, the competitor, the, the guy that buys the competing brand will always be like, yeah, but drop it six feet off a ladder <laughs> and see how it does then. Every time. Mine's been running. I dropped it in the lake. I fished it out and dry, I put it in a bag of rice. It was there for four years. Yeah, it was there for four years. I came back. I'm still conducting repairs on the Empire State Building now. <laughs> and I don't care about dropping it from the top of the Empire State Building either. It'll survive. Bounced off four cars, it did. And here's the thing. We're going to run three in a row. I think this is going to definitely show off the wieldability of the tools. I'm telling you right now. Crazy, dude. I, I'm a big fan of Makita. This is definitely pretty, pretty hefty. Hefty. We're gonna go through, switch sides. All right, let's do that. Switch sides. Three, two, one, go. I pulled it out. <laughs> Come on, man, I don't practice this all the time. Uh-huh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, but still, I gotta tell you, that first wood fastener, it's, it's... You're seeing the amperage out of that battery. Now, will there be sag, though, because of the size? Let's find out, let's, let's drive something a little bit bigger. We're gonna be driving some engineered structural lag fasteners. We'll do one at a time. But we want to see which, which tool can get it done quicker. But before that, maybe I should introduce you to my assistant here. <laughs> He's assisting me with the test today. This is, what is your name? I don't think anybody, none of the viewers probably know who you are. 
Yo, leave it down in the comment section below if you know who this guy is. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> That was close, man. It was close. Let's yeah. do one more? We gotta do it again. Oh, 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 before we do that. What do you want to do? I want you to, I want you to show your battery. Uh, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Both of these batteries. Fully charged. F still fully charged. My, my tool is on full, full speed. Full, full speed. speed. On three. How's your, your LED indicator lights for your speed? Good. For your speed. For your speed. How's your LED indicator lights for your speed? Oh, it doesn't have. It's got some mechanical switch. <laughs> I believe it's called analog. It's analog. Analog. Three, two, one, go. Right there, man. It is right there. It's right there. Pretty impressive. It's pretty awesome. What about taking them out? We could do that. Let's take one out. I think we should take two out. Take two out. On go. Three, two, one, go. Come on now. Come on, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ah, it's hot. <laughs> so, yo, you actually in reverse. I think your your impacts even your impacts even faster. It goes, man. It, it's I'll tell you, man. This thing's pretty impressive. How does it drill holes? We doing a spade. No. We're doing spaddles. Ooh, spaddle. We have Diablo's one inch self-feeding speed demons. They're both brand new. So is this two by four. So nobody, nobody can claim unfair play. Yo, fast clean for fast clean wood. Now, are you pushing down at all on this, or you just? Uh, well, 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 generally, the protocol, the the protocol for drilling with spaddle bits in a tool test roll, not a tool duel, is that <laughs> we we give it just enough pressure okay. that it will that it will start to self feed really and then let the tool do its job. Okay. Okay. So you're going on full speed. Oh, we're going full speed. All right. Where are you going down here? We're going to go down here so we can see the breakthrough on the slow mo. You want to switch? Let's switch sides. You know, we don't want anybody. You know. <laughs> oh, I couldn't, I didn't, I'm a righty. And there's no knots. Is there? I don't, I don't see any knots. Doesn't matter. Somebody's gonna not, not complain <laughs> about the test. You don't know how to run a tool test roll <laughs> or a tool duel. Three, Three, two, one, go. Really? You're heavier, bro. I wasn't even touching it. Me neither. Let's switch tools. All right. Three, two, one, go. That's it. I mean, I wasn't pushing at all. I'm letting the bit do the work. All right, so on the Makita, we're looking at 81, 82 degrees, 84 degrees back by the motor, down by the trigger, you're looking like 75, 76, down by the battery, you're in the 60s, 70s. We come on over to the wall. At the front, you're seeing 80, I saw 88.5. As we get back to the to motor, 88.8, .8. you look, 89.8 was the max there. We get to the trigger, we're back into the 70s. As we get down to the battery, we're in the 70s. Definitely warmer. So definitely warmer, but it is completing the task much quicker as well. It is compact compared to a very compact, but bigger impact driver. Yeah, this is probably able to absorb a little bit more heat, I would imagine, than this right here. I mean, that's just my opinion, but I could be wrong. You probably are. I am. <laughs> and I feel like when Tool Review Zone comes down to the den, to run, tool test raw, and not a tool duel. Then smash the like button, because it's free for you to do. Tell Tool Review Zone that you want him to come down and collaborate more often by getting the likes up on this video. Thank you for stopping down. Yo, we'll put a link at the end of the video or in the description or something with his channel thing. You could check him out if you'd like to. I don't, I wouldn't, but you could if you want to. Just make sure you smash that like button. Oh my God. <laughs>
Never again. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy and you're here in the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.